I want to share with you today uh, what I have in my hand here is the Biden Build Back Better Act. Uh, as you can see, um, it's not even written in final legislation yet. It is fluid, as they say, because they're trying to get the votes to pass it. Uh, yet, uh, you can't hide the fact, and they've been meeting behind closed doors on this for months, uh, but you can't hide the, hide the fact that this is the largest expansion of entitlements and size of government in our lifetime. Never before have we seen anything like this. Uh, just to share with you a couple of things that are uh, just non starters First, it, uh, we've had the Hyde Amendment, which uh, restricts taxpayer funding for abortions. We've had it around since Roe versus Wade. It is excluded uh, from this appropriation. Secondly, it per perpetuates labor shortages by continuing uh, welfare benefits for uh, able-bodied adults without, uh, without work requirements. Uh, uh, we've got 10.4 million job openings in this country. Uh, it expands the worst of Obamacare. It includes Civilian Climate Corps that uh, would employ thousands of climate activists at a time when we have a fossil fuel war uh, from this administration going on. We've lost, we no longer have uh, uh, energy independence and we are seeing the prices at the gas pump and wait till you get your heating bills this winter. Uh, it's over 400 billion in small business tax hikes and I, I'm sure there's gonna be a, a, a lot of other uh, regulatory issues in this legislation as, it, uh, as it's implemented. It impedes domestic energy production, and again, it increases our dependence on resources supplied by OPEC, Russia, and China. It includes a tax on natural gas, it raises the cost of utility bills, and places 90,000 jobs at risk. It expands the IRS authorities to access your bank account and information uh, that is included on your bank account for the vast majority of Americans. Uh, this is gonna be the death of our economy as we know it. 